Hi guys, in this video we're going to discuss the Ray Trader panels. Now if you haven't seen the video for the Ray Trader settings, please head to that now. Um, it's the previous video um, before this one. If you've seen it already, stick with me and we're going to go through the panels. Alright, so let's have a look at the panels now. So now that we put the Ray Trader on the chart, you can see that in the main menu, four new buttons popped up. We're going to be talking about the first three buttons and the last button I'm going to show you when we go to the charts and we'll discuss that. That's basically the disarm all button but we'll go through that in the next video. Okay, so with the trade panels, the first trade panel that we're gonna talk about is the position options. Okay, so once we click that button, you see that a new box popped up on the chart and you can move this box up or down or wherever. And once you save a default template for the Ray Trader, you will always have that position for that box. So let's discuss the position options box. Okay, so right at the bottom, we have the order quantity. That's the order quantity that we want to open the next trade with or take away from our current trade or that sort of stuff. Right after that, we have the maximum number of positions. So we always know what our maximum number of positions is. So we don't try to overfill that. And we can't because the ray trader is gonna stop us. Then we have the stop size in number of ticks. And then right at the top, we have each target, target one, two, three, and four, with on and off buttons, the target size, and the target number of ticks. So just as a rule of thumb, the position options box has three columns, right? The first column is the names and to turn the targets on and off. The second column is number of contracts. So that's the position size for each of them. And then the third and last column is the number of ticks for each, the stop and the targets. And you can see how easy it is to customize your current open trade or your new trade on the fly, right from your chart. Okay, so the next button is the trade management button. Okay, so once we click that, obviously a new box pops up. Now, same with this box, you can move it around and once you save the template for the Ray Trader, it's gonna stick to that position every time you put it on a new chart. Now in this box, we have two headings, the break even settings and the trail stop settings. First of all, we're gonna go through the break even and then we're gonna move on to the trail. Now the first button inside of break even is the break even now. The break even now button, if you're in a trade and you click it and your trade is in profit, your stop loss will automatically move to break even once you click that button. Now the next one is the auto break even on or off. So if you have this set to on, then the next two fields apply which is the break-even trigger and the break-even offset. So what the break-even trigger does is when you're that many ticks in profit, right now we have it set to 12, when we're 12 ticks in profit, our stop loss automatically moves to break-even. If we click the auto on button, it turns to auto off and it's not gonna move our stop loss to break-even automatically anymore. Only when we click the break-even button. Now for the trail stops. As we mentioned in the previous video, you have a choice in between five different trail stops obviously four because the last one's none, no trail. So the first one is parabolic SAR, the second one's chandelier, the third one is high low, and the last one is swing, and obviously no trail. Now, if you have any of those trail types selected besides none, the following settings apply to those. The first one is number of ticks, so when the market goes in your favor, by X amount of ticks, it's gonna start trailing your stop behind the currently selected trail type. Then you have the offset, and I'm gonna show you the visual of that in the next video when we go to the chart. The offset basically is number of ticks away from the currently selected trail type. So let's say you've got chandelier and you wanna trail three ticks behind it or three ticks uh, before it, or you can set this to, again, to whatever you want. You can, it can be positive or negative if you wanna be before the trail type or behind the trail type. And again, I'll show you those when we go to the chart. And last but not least, we have bars back. Now this bars back feature is implemented so you don't have to trail behind just the current bar. You can trail behind X number of bars back. So X number of bars to the left. That means you don't have to trail behind the current bar. You can trail behind the previous bar or the bar before that or anything that you have in your trading plan. And you can adjust that on the fly if you wanna tighten up the stops or loosen them. Now the last button that we're gonna talk about from the main menu is the chart trader button. Now this button opens up, again, another box. And in this box, we actually built in the chart trader buttons. And you can turn the buy market and sell market off 
and on if you want from the settings. Again, you can see that in the previous video. The same with the bin and ask buttons as well. So basically, we redid the chart trader buttons so that they tie in perfectly with the Ray Trader. So you have the ability to use the chart trader within the Ray Trader itself. So that's pretty fantastic. But underneath the chart trader, you have the reversal bar options. Now, these reversal bar options, let's say, for example, you're flat and you want to go long. You click the buy button and whenever you get a green colored candle or an up candle, then the Ray Trader will automatically enter you in a long position. That's vice versa for short. So if you're flat and you want to enter short, you click the sell button. And when you get a red colored bar or a down bar, you're going to be automatically entered into a trade. Now, if you're already in a trade and you click the buy button, let's say you're long and you click the buy button, it's going to add to that position up to your maximum quantity that you've got set in your position options. If you're already short and you click the sell button, it's going to add to that position once you get a red bar, obviously up to the maximum number of positions that you're allowed to trade. Now, if you're long and you click the short button, then it's going to exit the number of positions that you have set in your quantity box. So you can either exit completely a trade or scale out of a trade. Vice versa for the short, if you're already short and you click the buy button, it's going to either scale out of that position or it's going to close it completely depending on the number of contracts that you have selected in your quantity box. Now, last but not least, the big reverse button. So this only works if you're in a trade. So if you're in a trade for long, for example, and you click the reverse button on the next down bar or red bar, you're going to be switched and entered short. Vice versa, if you're already short and you click the reverse button, it's going to enter you in a long trade on the next up candle or green candle. OK, that's it for the trade panels. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video where I'm going to show the power of the Ray Trader on the chart itself. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like its content, then please hit the like and subscribe buttons on YouTube, share it to your social media, follow us on social media, and I'll see you in the next video. Have an awesome rest of your day until then.